I'm Kent, and this is another Weekend Adventure Rides how-to. Today we are going through and finally assembling both sides of the crankcase. Now, I'm gonna show you how to install the crankshaft, the transmission, all of the shifting components, as well as the balancer, um, and then how to use the crankshaft pulling tool by Tusk to seat the crankshaft into the case. All right, let's get started on this. What you're gonna need to do first is grab the left side crankcase. This is where we're gonna assemble everything and then we're gonna bring the right side over and we're gonna put that down on top. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is get the crankshaft and the balancer. Now, these two items have to mesh perfectly together and it's important that they're, they're done that way because this really, uh, if it's not done correctly, it's gonna cause a lot of damage to the motor because this offsets the swing of the crankshaft. And if they're not right, then it rattles everything and your motor's just gonna destroy itself. So, so two of these little splines on the gear, they have marks on them and those two will line up with the marks on the uh, crankshaft. So one of the splines has a mark on it. So you can see it's right there. Now we'll take this and it's only one on the crankshaft side. So when we line this up, we want the two on both sides. So it goes in just like that. Now they're gonna go in, now that we've got them lined up, they're gonna go in just like this. Unfortunately, you have to put them in at exactly the same time. So we'll go like that. Now we're gonna utilize our Tusk crankshaft puller. So we'll get that set up now. It's pretty simple. We thread this bolt into the bottom side of the crankshaft and then over the top of that, goes this connection piece. So it'll go like this. It allows you to pull on the crankshaft. All right, so we'll get that set up here carefully. So I'm just threading the bolt into the side of the crankshaft. And this doesn't have to be overly tight. We're just gonna seat it down so that it's all gonna pull evenly. Okay, now we've got this part of the tool and we're going to try to show this to everybody. Thread this on here. Like so. And then we'll put our base of our pulling tool on there. It only fits in one way. Once we get this lined up, I'll make sure everything's lined up with the balancer and crankshaft. All right, so this is a 27 millimeter nut here on the back. So we'll get everything tightened down and then <laughs> make sure that you don't lose your connecting rod down there. Looks like that actually seated in really easily. Okay, so there we have the crankshaft and balancer in, and it looks like they're moving freely there and there's no contact between the balancer and the crankshaft. So we got those seated in there all the way, looking good. Now we're gonna move over to the transmission now. So I got the transmission cleaned up with a little bit of acetone, and now we are going to get those seated in there. So the transmission goes down into these two um, bearings right here. Now you want your output to go down into this open bearing here and open through the case. And then alternatively, this side here, the transmission, we'll get that mated up. Okay, now it really doesn't matter where on the tooth or on the teeth this uh, mates up. It's 
it doesn't make a, a difference at all. So just make sure that you've got all of your washers on there, those thrust washers, or things will not line up appropriately and then it's gonna cause some damage. So here we go. So we'll get started with that right there. There we go. All right, we have our transmission in now. So we are going to put in our shift forks. Now these are lettered actually, L, C, and R. And now you want the L to be on the left side. So if that's not too obvious there, but we'll put that in the space where that fork goes. And then our center fork with the C facing up, we'll go in. And then finally our right fork. Okay, go ahead and get those aligned. All right, now we're going to put our shift drum in here. Now this goes with the small end to the left. Obviously that's the only way it's gonna go in. We'll put a little assembly lube on that. It's gonna go down in that needle bearing. Make sure all the shift forks are out of the way or it's not gonna seat down there. Okay, so now that we've got that shift drum in there, we're gonna line up these uh, pegs on the shift forks so that they fit into the little notches or grooves in this shift drum here. Take your time with this. Make sure everything's lined up correctly. Okay, so we've got all those lined up, that shift drum in there. Now we're gonna use this uh, pin here that holds the shift forks in place and get that lined up. We'll lubricate that up a little bit. Okay. Okay, almost got it in there. Just have to line up this last one. So our shift drum's in there now. Everything looks good. Now our gear selector, that's our next piece that's gonna go in. Run that down in there. There we go. Now that we have everything assembled, check, see that our transmission is spinning and all the gears are meshing up correctly. Our um, crank shaft and our balancer are lined up. And then we have our gear selector seated in all the way and moving freely. Okay, that all looks good. So we're ready to put our little dowel pins in, our guide pins, and then seat our first gasket down over the top here. There we go. We've got this, now we just need to line everything up. And slip it down on there nice and easy. Okay, pretty simple. All right, the two case halves meshed up pretty well here. Now we're just gonna use a soft mallet here. We'll just drive that down. It looks like it just slipped down there nice and easily. Okay, we're in business. So we have our cases back together. Now all the bolts that hold this are actually on the other side, so we've got to flip this thing over nice and carefully. There we go. And now we are going to start putting bolts in. Now, I don't know exactly where these bolts go, so we're gonna test fit everything before we uh, screw anything in. So it appears there's about four different lengths here of bolts. Now we'll go through and uh, start throwing bolts in here. See what happens. So when you test fit these in there, you want 
about half an inch sticking up. If it's more than that, it's probably not going to fit. Be too long. That looks pretty good there. And there's a few more that are left that are going to go on the other side. So we'll get these ones tightened down first and then we'll switch over. Now that we know where all those bolts go, we're going to get started tightening them down. Now what's important with stainless mated to aluminum is that we have to use some sort of either thread locker or anises if we ever want to get these back apart because the stainless is so much stronger than the aluminum that if we torque it down to the specifications that it says in the in the book that we're probably going to ruin the threads on the uh, aluminum and destroy it so what we're going to do is just hand tighten these all down kind of in a crisscross pattern and then we'll come in uh, and use the torque wrench and the specifications from Alley Bolts is that we only torque those down to uh, about four and a half pounds with these M6s rather than the recommended 10 pounds. So we are going to be using some blue Loctite so that these don't come loose. All right, so let's get started on that part. And we'll go right around and do that. So I'm kind of going around in a star pattern and getting these snugged up at first. Get everything kind of tightened down. Now we're going to make sure our torque set to the right amount. Right at five pounds, we're going to set that with the torque wrench. And now we'll do the first one. All right, we have reached the end of the road for this week. We've got the case halves back together, the transmission and the crankshaft in, and we are ready to start reassembling the side cases. So we will get started on that next week. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow us along while we finish this lightweight adventure bike build. We'll see you next week.